started with this muscle, what it was, this muscle group, rhomboids. Okay, so the first one we'll go over this week, which I mentioned is some is opposite the rhomboids, under the scapula, is subscapularis. So we here, over here is our rhomboids, and if I put the pin under the scapula, it would be the subscapularis. Okay. Um, anyone remember what this one is? Yeah, so under the trapezius, we have the supraspinatus, this top half semicircle portion. So supraspinatus. And underneath, we have the infraspinatus. So supra, top, infra, below. And then this muscle hanging off the end, this hanging muscle, is the teres major. And there's a pretty clear differentiation between the muscle. There's no bone in it. So. Infra, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres major. Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and then this hanging muscle is the teres major. Cool. And then underneath again we had the, what was it? Yeah, so think like subway under. Cool. Okay, so now we'll go over the three deltoids. This one I think it's for me easiest to just remember an acronym of CAS. Uh, so first one is the clavodeltoid, clavicle, so clavodeltoid. This corner, sorry, turn it. Ew, I'm just leaving. Uh, so clavodeltoid. Uh, then this corner piece is the acromial deltoid. These ones are the, the trickiest to see this week, but this cat was dissectable, so you can see it. Uh, and then parallel to the spine is the spinal deltoid. So it's this sort of rectangular portion here. Okay. So clavodeltoid. Acromial is this corner piece, kind of a triangle. And then spinal deltoid is this rectangular portion, parallel to the spine. And if I was to ever mark like the infraspinatus, I would put it very clearly over here. And if it was the spinal deltoid here, so try not to get confused between the two, I would try to keep them on the polar difference. Uh, so clavodeltoid, acromial deltoid, spinal deltoid. Okay. Uh, the triceps, the three tries. So this rectangle here is the lateral tricep. Long head of tri is this long muscle here, which I could mark on both sides. So this is the lateral tri. So lateral tri, both sides, this muscle here. Sorry, long head of tri, excuse you. This is the lateral. And then right now, we, uh, the medial is underneath here. So just know if I was, just, I think if we were to test you on this, I would cut open the lateral tri just to expose it. So you know that under the lateral tri is the medial tri. Okay. So lateral, medial, and long head of tri, which I could mark on both sides. Uh, three more. So this thin muscle that covers the long head of tri is the epitrochlearis. So you'll notice on your list that I, I pretty sure this year as well, there's no comma between the bicep brachii and the epitrochlearis. So just make sure you know they're different muscles because I think on your list there's no comma. So epitrochlearis, this thin muscle covering the long head of tri, your bicep, which is this bicep brachii, this big muscle here, really easy to find most of the cats, the biggest arm muscle. And finally, sorry, so the acromial delta which is this corner piece. And the last one we're going over this week is the brachialis, which is this muscle here. So I think the easiest way to find is if you find your acromio deltoid, just look at where it extends towards the elbow and it's this portion here. Okay. 